Hey guys, Todd here, vlog time. Or oh, hello! It's my Mrs. Doubtfire voice. Uh, right, this is going to be strange because I'm looking at a camera from a different angle. I no longer have a bar stool that I had in here, so I had eye contact with the camera uh, or eye level. Uh, I now have my, my chair bar. I know, wee man, I know. You got wet paws. Uh, and I'm wearing chinos, so they, they'll just be manky now. You little monster. Yes, you are. You went up. You went up. <laughs> <laughs> right. Um, what's been happening? What's occurring? And all that jazz. Um, right. It's the... Oh, we're into the new year. Seven days into the new year. And... Uh, yeah. <laughs> Same old, same old, really. Nothing exciting to tell you. Um, yeah. <laughs> That's it. Vlog done. See you later. Uh, no. Right. I've got to try and keep this short because I've got to finish off recording my review for this, which has to go up at the weekend. This is the Reaper uh, RTA. And uh, I've recorded the intro and the outro. Uh, I've just to do the up closey stuff now. And uh, I must admit, I'm I've recorded the out the summary uh, twice because I can't get across <laughs> what I'm trying to say. Um I, I recorded it once and uh, I just didn't feel right and I actually watched it back, which I don't like doing, um, because I'm really boring. And um uh, I was just talking shite, basically. Uh, so I recorded it again, which I ended up talking more shite. So I'll probably end up recording it yet again. Um, I think the thing is that... And, and I'll, no, I'll shut up. I'll keep it for the review. I'll keep it for the review. But uh, so I, I need to keep this vlog kind of short, which is the kiss of death, which means it's going to go on for hours. Um, what I was vaping with today. Let's start off with that. That's that's nice and simple. Um Oh, and I got a haircut. That was my mission for the last two weeks of 2015. Get a haircut. Never happened. But I got one this year. Um, right. This arrived. Now, I purchased this from Red Eye Vapor in the UK. I think it's redeyevapor.co.uk. And I know there's a few folk uh, that have got these now or have been buying them from other places and whatnot. Uh, so it's the Steam Crave... Squonk box, Squonk mod is written on it. You think I would figure that out? Uh, now, now then, it is a squonker. So we've got a battery in there, eighteen six fifty battery, ten mil bottle. I've got the the Vortis sitting on top of it. One two three four five. Um, I've been using this. <laughs> I've been using this. All last night and all today. So my opinions right now are based on a day's worth of vaping. So take it with a pinch of salt. It's just what I've noticed in a day. Squonking wise, not an issue. I, I, I've not, it's not, I, I think I've read, was it in UK Vapors? Somebody said they thought the tubing was rather cheap. So they changed the tubing out for their own. Uh, I, I have to say that this hasn't leaked once. There's there's no leaking at all going on in here. Um, the door goes on. Great. It feels... It's a little bit rattly. Not the worst by a long shot. Um, so, can't get used to looking up there. Um, it's not the worst by a long shot. In fact... I think I paid £60 for it. It never came with a, a bit in the top for this one. I think it was £60 I paid. And it, and it arrived, the, you know, the day after almost. Now, I've been vaping this at 30 watts on a 0 0.7 ohm coil. And today, uh, I'm just polishing off my last 18... My second 18650 battery. Um, and I've gone through... And two 18650 batteries it's six mil of juice 
Now, I, I do use a lot of mods, single 18650 mods. I do. Um, but I do find that this is, is, is munchy, munchy, munchy. It likes eating the battery. It does. Um, and I can live with that. I, I don't, yeah, it seems to be going through the batteries quicker. Um, I'll... Who was I talking to? Uh, Richard. Uh, vaping with Vic or Vaping Vic, V1CK, um, and basically, I, I'm going to get the, I'm going to test the batteries. I can't do proper battery testing, but I just want to make sure that the, the voltage of the batteries kind of corresponds with the scale that's on the, the readout. Um, somebody else said on my Facebook page said that they were having issues with it, um, kind of going tits up when they were at 45 watts on a low ohm coil. I had this at 45 watts, no issues. Uh, it didn't... No issues. Uh, but that's just this one. Um, have a little squonk here. And I do like that. I like the Vortis, I'm not going to lie. works. I'm really happy with my purchase. I can't, at this moment in time, I'm really happy with my purchase. Um, yeah, it, it, yeah I, I'm going to leave it at that. I'm just really happy with it. Just the battery, the munch, 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 munch. But anyway, there you go. That's that's by the by. Uh, right, what else? What else? What else? Um, now, something else that I bought. Uh, I've got to stop buying gear. I'm a reviewer. Hashtag kickbacks. Um, this is the die codes number six. It's the shape of it. And that's the Croati that's on top of it just now. Um, and the screen, I don't know if you'll be able to see that. One, two, three, four, five. Um, it's up here. This was, I forget how much this was, about £180, was it, I think? Uh, I can't remember. Uh, my God, that's a big watch. Um, I, I had the 280T uh, die codes, and um, I had a bit of a nightmare with that. I mean, there's one thing I, I will say. The die codes guys make oh, exceptional gear. Exceptional. The quality of what they make is second to, second to none. Really is. Um, can't take that away from them. The menu system on the 280 with a single button was, for me, was a... I thought it was a mess. That that was just my take on it. I know you didn't have to go into the menu system and all the time. You could just set it and that was it and done. But I just found it to be cumbersome because I'm a bit slow that way. This time with the menu, you can control it with the, the three buttons and it's transformed it. It really has. Uh, I think it's so much better. I really do. And this is just one hell of a comfortable mod to, to hold. Um, it's actually quite small. Um, what have I got that's normal-ish? Um, don't have a lot of normal gear. <laughs> Shit. Um, yeah, you have to. I've, I've got calipers. Um, what is it? Eighty-one millimeters in height, and. 53 millimetres in width and about 22 at the point there. Um, it's, it's it's smaller than a vapour flask. Uh, but the thing is, it's a 26650 and uh, of course the battery lasts for ages and I'm just really enjoying it. Um... Uh, I, oh, here we go. How do I approach this? Right. I, I've bought these things myself. Uh, I have a review queue, which is for people that have sent stuff on to me to review. 
I have to work my way through that. Uh, I'm trying to slow stuff down because uh, I just want, I'm going to take a week or two, um, I'm not sure what, just now, uh, maybe February, beginning of March, just to, I want to play with stuff, basically. Uh, my nights consist of coming home, home for six o'clock, dinner, out to the shed, out to the shed till eight o'clock, back in, spend quality time with Karen. Um, Saturdays, all day in the shed, and Sunday mornings. And I just, I've got my new oscilloscope back there. Um, I want to play with it properly and get my head around it and, and get, just get things sorted. That's pretty much what I'm trying to say. I want a bit of me time. Um, selfish bastard and all that. I really am. Sorry. Uh, and, and I'm trying to think what else more, what mods I can show you. Do you know what? I haven't got anything else to show you. Have I? Oh, right. Um, now, Mark at Nature, I was talking about something there. I'll come back to it because I can't remember now. Uh, Mark at Nature Vape sent this stuff on to me and it kind of comes back. Ah, that's what I was talking about. This is kind of going, ah, comes back to this. When I get through my review queue, I will hopefully have time to do reviews for this stuff. So it's going to be a wee while away before I review or if I ever review these. I will probably just keep doing updates and vlogs and let you know how I get on. Um, my gut feeling this is um, for the money to get the squonker like this, I think it's really good. You cannot use it as a pass through. It charges extremely quickly. It, it does. I think there's something going on with that meter. I really do. But as I said, I would go and buy this again. Definitely. I would go and buy this again. Uh, I would buy another one for myself. Um, the die code is not cheap, but this is um, this is a, this is sweet. This is so sweet, and the chip that's in this is as as much as it's a bit of a minefield to get through. Sometimes it's it's a lot easier now. Uh, it's probably one of the best in the market. There you go. Um, and it's only 60 watt. You paid how much for a 60 watt mod? Yes. Um, so there you go. Would I buy this? I would buy this again. I really, really like this. I think it's excellent. Um, so, yes, I will get to those reviews. The other stuff I was going to show, uh, I've not even opened it. Um, this came from Mark Nature Vape. Uh, I've, what the hell is this thing? Uh, Let's open this together. Um, I need to tidy the shed up. You'll need to excuse me because I've just moved stuff about a bit um, because of the new monitor. So I've got a, a new space for doing close-ups. This is for building over here and so on and so forth. Right. This is called <laughs> the Mutank. See, I can pronounce that. New tank. And it comes in a lovely big box. What the hell is it? Oh, I have lots of bits and bobs. Fuck me. Oops. Excuse me. Big tank. Um, it's the size of these coils. I'd never seen a coil for a, a, a small TVF4 or TFV4 before. We started selling them at work. Honestly. Who? Ah. Um, just nuts. Uh, absolutely nuts. Well, it comes with a rebuildable. Ooh. Ooh, that, that. You see that at all? I'm sure. Look at that. That's a replaceable uh, coil deck for it. That looks quite interesting, actually. Uh, it comes with spare coils, and it's... Uh, I mean, the coil that's in it is rated 30 to 150 watts. <laughs> that's just nuts, man. There it is there. Um, what? Is it a top fill? 
hope it's a top fill. That would be awfully cool if it was a top fill. Yes, it is a top fill. I've no idea how much it costs or anything like that. Uh, Mark just sent it on to me. He said, if you review it, you review it. If you don't, you don't. Um, and I've no idea how you get the coil out. Is it pull out? No. Base must unscrew. Right, I'll figure that out at a later date. So that came from Market Nature Vape. He also sent me the Indulgence MTRTA. Um, which looks like a Kanger. Oh, it's the same company. Uh, looks like a Kanger tech there. That's what coils come with that. Probably something freaking crazy. Uh, knowing Mark at Nature Vape, if, uh, if I do set these up and I do vape away with them, I'll tell you how I got on. Um, you know me, I'm not a, a, a sub own tank reviewer. Uh, I'm sure Martin at uh, Martin Parker will probably do a review for them. I know Market Nature Vape usually sends stuff on to Martin as well. Uh, so I would check Martin Parker's channel. Keep an eye on that. He's probably got them. Um, so th those are th those these those arrived. Um, I've also all they sent me the production version of the Chieftain uh, by Stentorian, uh, which is the another branch of Wotofo or what the fuck. Um, and it's that bad boy there. Now, I'm getting on okay with this. Um, it's a wee bit rattly. And it's... I, I'm not sure how much they're going to be selling it for in the UK yet. Now, it's a dual 18650. And for what I've been hitting it with wattage-wise and whatnot, you know, it's been performing not bad. And it's actually not a bad... I, I do like my firing button up there. I do enjoy that. I am... Um, and it's been working not bad. I must admit, the, the prototype one they sent me, uh, it's up there. I mean, this is a lot better quality than the prototype one they sent. So, uh, yeah. I'll, I'll get a review in for that. I will get a review in for that. Um, and the what else they sent me that I'm not supposed to talk about. I got into trouble. Um, oops. Um, as I usually do. Uh, hang on. I'll just uh, have a vape here. Still using the, the Cortex with the I sub S, which I'm getting on fine with. Um, but I'm not really a cloud chaser, so. <laughs> uh, I'll tell you one thing, though. Uh, they sent on these. Oh, God, it'd be great if you focused. Yeah, it really would. It'd be really good if you did it today. Today. Day. No, it's not going to happen. See, there's a reason that they threw me out of IT. It's because I suck. That, that, that that's... I don't know if we're tofu, so excuse the lip gunk, but it's got little serial numbers on it and everything as well. Um, so I think they're going to be doing their own drip tips, and they're really, really nice. They're really, really nice. Um... They also sent me on a prototype of something that was supposed to be a secret, and I'm not supposed to talk about or show anybody, but they sent me an email after um, I posted a photo on Instagram. Oops. Um, so I'll just give you... The, the photo's on Instagram of it, so it doesn't matter if I show you here. I'm not going to show you inside or anything like that. Uh, no liquid. See? It's... it's, it's uh, that's because it's... Uh, Slight coil, titanium, wattage, no, other way, wattage, that's the one, push that button, there we go, I hate having controls in the bottom. Uh, this is the, there's going to be a serpent mini coming out, a mini serpent, um, you know how I feel about the serpent, I think it's absolutely awesome, this is the mini one. not half bad it's not half bad uh, I have been thoroughly enjoying using it uh, and 
yes, we'll get to that at some point. Uh, I'll wait until they send me a production one before I, I do anything else on it. Because there might be changes between what I've got and the final version. Um, what else have I been vaping with? I've been vaping, with, I've been vaping a lot with uh, this wee guy. This is the Origin uh, Norbit's Focus Dance. See? There we go. Uh, the, the, the bottom BF Mini uh, on, and I forgot the name of this mod, which is really bad of me. Uh, but it's a squonker yet again. Uh, flavour out of this is superb. Absolutely superb. Um, also, I mentioned before that uh, it comes, he sent me on an RTA tank. Uh, or, or it's not a rebuildable tank, at my, it's like a dripper, a top dripper for the, the mini. Um, and he sent me on instructions on how to take it to bits and show you guys it and whatnot. So a review will that, for that will be coming as well. Um, I have been vaping with also yeah, uh, the Endless mod. And I have to be honest here. Now, well, the first thing I have to do is put bloody liquid in it. Where's my cream tea? Cream tea? Here we go. Now, I tried, I, I built this with a 0 0.5, a dual 0 0.5 ohm coil, and <laughs> it didn't do anything. I couldn't get anything out of it. It's just, it's a cloud chasers dripper. It, it really is. It's just a cloud chasers dripper. Um, I think this battery's on its way out, yeah, it is. Um, it's just, I don't know, it's just, the guy, I, I really appreciate the guy sending it on, but oh God, why did they have to send it to me? Uh, because I'm possibly the worst person in the world to send any kind of cloud chasing thing onto. Um, that's, that, that's it just open a fraction Fraction, it's nuts, but it's actually quite a nice mod. I don't like the gap. I don't see there's a gap below the the dripper. It's got that whole competition thing going on, you know, to you know, so it doesn't overheat and I don't buy into that stuff. So, um, anything else to tell you? Nothing lying over there of any great importance, and nothing up there. Um, did I tell you before I actually had a zero <coughs> a DNA 40 zero I had it for a couple of days and I sold it because I wasn't that impressed with it um, I actually went and bought another one uh, but this one's uh, it's been somebody's um, they've used it it's been a, a, like a beta mod you know it's a daily mod so it's been used uh, so I got it for a really good price. It's a DNA thirty one. Um, I am. Um, I'm gonna try. I, I bought it. I spent too much money. I got it for a really good price. I mean, there's no two ways about it. I got it for a really good price. But um, I'm going to try kind of like doing a little restoration on it. It's just something to tinker with. Uh, and then I, I don't know. I might do a raffle for it, or or you know charity thing for it, see how we get on not that I do a lot of work for charity and there we go um, I'm trying to see if there's anything else I need to tell you um, no there's nothing else to tell you um, I'm still loving my Fugatti DNA 200 really like that Re really really like that um, I'll tell you what I am going to mention. Right, three seconds. Doink! I'm going to point this out here again because I feel that I should. Um, this thing, the bigger DNA 200. Now, just want to point out to you again. 
on the back. What the fuck? <laughs> now, <sighs> yes, I was going to go somewhere with this, but I'm not going to because I don't want to upset or get into fucking dramas or anything like this. I just want to point out if you're interested in buying this, uh, just be aware that the back does come off in your hand very very easily and I think it's a pile of shit be aware of that before you go and spend your hard earned money on this thing um, that is just my opinion you may go and watch other reviews and they may not think that but that's why you watch as many reviews as you can uh, so you can get a balanced viewpoint blah blah blah, blah. Todd you've said that a million times you're a boring old fart um, Right, let's let's do. Um, I've not even opened up my interweb. Uh, interweb. How does that work? Oh, this is awesome. See, having two split screens. Love this. Absolutely love this. Uh, right. Um, the we blah, 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 blah. auctioned off uh, the Narda prototype and raised 160 pounds uh, and that went to a really good charity in, in Dunfermline, it's run in Dunfermline that uh, it helps uh, ex-servicemen transition from coming from uh, the services into um, civilian life uh, it helps them out which yeah I thought was great uh, I just want to say to Adam Davey you're a fanny, you really are a fanny <laughs> <laughs> Love you to bits, mate. You make me laugh. Um, right. Um, right. That I think I've. I think I've, I've. Oh my god. Have I? Have I covered everything? Uh, I think I might have. Uh, and even in Facebook, I don't think I've got anything to tell you. Oh, there's Amber. I've not spoken to you for ages. Uh, Apothecar. Um, and let's do what other videos I've been watching. I've managed to rename my YouTube channel to Todd's Reviews now, instead of Todd's eSig Reviews. The, 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 the address is still Todd eSig Reviews, but the actual name of it is Todd's Reviews. Um, my subscriptions, oh, Grim Green Vlog Time, cool. Um, uh, I, I've not, well, I mean, I watched the uh, Vape and Vicks vape vlog uh, there today. Uh, I want to watch uh, Suck My Mods, got the, the vape forward stuff, the stout, the light and the classic. Uh, I want to watch that. The trailer for the Ideal Ohm show that's on tonight, Thursday night, was absolutely fantastic. Really enjoyed that. I went to, um, I mentioned this bef guy before, because uh, he did a build tutorial for this the aeronaut um which i recommended on my facebook page said it was really really good uh own boy josh uh he's done a review for the aeolus light rda now the way he's done this it's a bit ropey in places but i've got to give him 10 out of 10 for doing something totally different totally different for a vape review which i think is to be commended on um, just it's own boy Josh the Aeolus Light RDA by Cinti Cloud. Go and watch his review. Basically, it's like um, you know, right, if if I'm doing a close up with my hands on this, you know, and I'm showing you building it. Well, he's got the close up on it, but then he's got a little miniature him. He's green screened himself, standing beside it, pointing to stuff and all this kind of. Like I say, it's a bit ropey in bits, but. I, can't, I just I think that's awesome that somebody's trying something different out of the the usual formula. Uh, yeah, a bit like Ruby Roo, you know, Ruby Roo's got a different format to the norm, you know, like. And I think that's really good. And I should do something like that, other than being a boring shit and doing what I do. Um, what else have I watched? Uh, Plumes of Hazard, of course. Um, 
a bloody good waffle, which was excellent. 10 out of 10 to Damien to doing his waffle in his pyjamas. Takes a real man to wear his pyjamas doing a, a waffle. Um, shout out to Dean the Vaping Biker for his Inukin uh, Endura T18 review, which was a whole um, introduction to vaping and what to buy, and it was a review of the Endura at the same time. But, it, you know, it was very good. Don't let the whole hair thing at the start scare you off, though. He's a scary guy. Very scary guy. Um, and that's pretty much all I've been watching recently. Everybody's going whizmic and low daft as usual. Um, just seems to be loads of reviews on that. Uh, the Kanger K-Box 200. Kanger. Mm. Um, and that's it. Um, what else? It's, it's, that's 30 minutes. That's enough crap from me, don't you think? Um, New Year's resolutions. My New Year resolution is to keep doing what I did in 2015. It seems to be working. It seems to be working. You guys keep watching for some strange reason. Uh, we'll see how that goes. Uh, I have still been vaping away on, on this little guy. Yes, I know the Atty looks huge on it, but I actually did. Is that going to come off? Probably not, because I want to do it now. Uh, I built a stainless steel mesh wick. I have not done that for donkeys. Absolutely donkeys. And I'm quite proud of the fact that I still managed to build it, coil it, uh, and not get any hot spots at the start. Pure luck. That's all I can think of. Pure luck. How tight a draw is that? That's brutal. Brutal, man. Um, I think that's it. I'll show you this. Come to daddy. I've not even opened these yet. These are, I, got, I got these from a Christmas. Um, look at that. Pink Floyd the Wall. On vinyl. <laughs> and a bit of this as well. Because I'm a... This is what I grew up listening to. My, this is this is all my dad's shit. Um, my dad bought me these for my Christmas. And um, I can't wait to get them. Playing away. Um... <laughs> Sad thing is, I was actually listening to this non-stop the other night um, on my PC speakers rather than opening this. How sad! That's just wrong. That's wrong. I've got a, a record player behind me there, and I've got vinyl. It's just sometimes I'm just so lazy. But it's blah blah. blah. Uh, what I will say is, and I don't. No, I don't know where it is. Where is it? It's gone. Uh, right, enough. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, cats and dogs, hamsters, ferrets and monkeys, thank you for watching. Todd's Reviews does a vlog and his life jacket. Um, we'll catch you next time, guys. Listen, uh, I better go and finish off this review and uh, we shall catch you next week or at the weekend, whenever. Have a nice weekend, guys. Cheers now. Bye.